Hi, how you doing? This is Locke with 2MCCTV.com. Today I'm going to show you how to put your uh, 2M DVR from round the clock recording to recording on motion only. Now to know that it's recording on round the clock, if you look down here, it shows a red dot with T. When it has a T, it means it's recording 24 hours a day. The reason why most people would want to set on motion is because it saves a lot of hard drive space. You don't have to fast forward through a whole bunch of useless footage to get to where you want to view it. It makes it much more easier to find footage you're looking for. So to put on motion, what you want to do is go to your menu button, go to schedule, and make sure all cam and all day are checked. We're going to see segment 1 is 000 to 24 hours. So this means it's going to take up 24 hours a day. So if you make sure you have this set the exact way I have it set. And set a time, we're going to change it to motion. After we do that, all we have to do is click the save button. And after you click a, change it to motion, you're going to see a green dot with an L. Um, this means there's no motion going on right now. Once there is motion, you're going to see a red dot with an M. So as you see, there's some movement right there. Um, notice how the red dot changed to a, uh, from T to M. So this means when the motion stops, it's going to stop recording. And that's basically how you change your 2M DVR from around the clock recording to motion recording. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure you check out other videos at 2MCCTV.com. Hi, this is Locke with 2MCCTV.com. Uh, today I have a 8832 2M DVR. Um, we're just going to basically go over the basic uh, function of the DVR. Uh, each of the 2M DVR uh, is relatively similar. They only have minor differences, uh, you know, with each DVR bit. If you know how to use one, most likely you're going to know how to use all of them. So let's get started. First, let's go into the main menu and the menu only has 10 icons uh... you know basically straightforward we're going to start off with the system icon this is where you would go to set your time format your date uh, you know the border display the video format basically self explanatory uh... it also lets you change the different output if it has the option for hdmi just like this one you can switch from vj or hdmi next we have our camera setup uh, this just lets you change, you know, the brightness, the contrast, saturation, the color. Uh, uh, you could change each individual one. Again, there's all that stuff explained to her once you go in it. And the next icon we have is our record settings. This lets you change the resolution, uh, change the quality of the image, and change how many frames per second you want to record. It also lets you enable audio to record audio for each specific channel. We have schedule. Uh, this lets you assign a scheduled time to do motion or a certain period of time or do round the clock recording. Uh, you know, at the later half of the day. So let's you customize the scheduling of the recording to your liking. You can do it for auto camera or each individual camera as well. And right here we have the motion setup. Uh, this lets you mask off some area of where you want it to detect motion and lets you do the motion sensitivity of the camera. And right here we have a PTZ setup. So in case you have any PTZ cameras connected directly to the DVR, um, you can choose what camera the PTZ is on. All you have to do is make sure it has the same baud rate, device ID, and protocol as the PTZ camera. And this allows you the DVR to control the actual PTZ camera. And we have a network function. Right here you can switch from static to DHCP IP addresses uh, lets you change the IP address to your liking and lets you change the port numbers too. The 
2 MDVR only has two ports. That's port 80 and port 6802. Uh, you, you know, most people don't like leaving port 80 open, so they'll change to 8080, and you can easily do that by going to the network settings. And right here we have the email settings. The newer DVR has the new email function, and the older one doesn't. Um, when you click on the email settings, all you have to do is just input the SMTP address of your email service, your username and password, and it will let you do email alerts. And it also has a time interval. Yeah. Next we have the alarm icon. As you can see, it has a lost motion or sensor. So when it's set to buzzer, uh, if there's any emotion or anything like that, the alarm will give a beep to let you know that there's any emotion or camera loss or if any sensors went off. You know, we have replay and this is where you go to have the email sent to. So if you have these checked for each individual camera, every time there's motion for that camera, it will send an email alert. And that's all there is to it on the e alarm setup. We have a hard disk icon. This is to give you the basic information of your hard disk. Uh, we don't have a hard disk installed right now, so uh, we can't show you the way it shows. But basically, it just shows uh, how much free space you have and what's this total uh, hard drive space for the current drive that is installed on your DVR. And last, we have the user setup. This allows you to edit all the user account from admin 0, user 01, user 02, and user 03. It lets you change the password and the actual user name of it. And that's basically the basics of the main function that is in the 2M DVR. Thanks for watching this video and make sure you check out more videos at 2MCCTV.com. Hi, how you doing? This is Locke with 2MCCTV.com. Today I have one of our 2M DVRs. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a backup of videos and how to play back. For our 2M DVR, they have the same software, so no matter what model number is it, um, this is going to apply for your uh, 2M DVR. To first to do a playback, we're going to hit the play button. And up here you're going to see something that says valid time. Uh, valid time just tells you what days have uh, video recorded on it. Uh, we only have one day worth. You can put multiple channels to view up to four channels at once. Um, I only have video footage on one camera, so I'm just going to do camera one. We have our start time and end time right here. You can also drag the start grid and the end grid down here, which is the bottom one. And after you chose the time you want to back it up and ch choose the day, um, you can just hit the play button and it will play back. So once you're done playing back, now to do backup, it's going to be in the same menu. Uh, you still choose the day you want to back up and the time and what channels you want to back up. But this time you also choose what kind of device you're backing up to. Uh, some of our 2M DVRs come with optical drives. So if you want to back it to CD, you'll choose CD. Uh, most people will actually back up into a small flash drive, which is really common these days. And for that, we're going to choose USB. So once you choose your media device you want to back it up to, and you choose the day, you're just going to choose the time of which you want to back it up to, and the channels. After you do that, you simply hit calculate, and this just tells you how big the file size is. So right here it says the file size of the video is going to be 18 megabytes. And after you do that, you're going to hit backup. And that's how you would play back your videos and back it up. Thanks for watching this video and make sure you watch other videos at 2mcctv.com. Have a nice day.